This week, the CDC updated how the coronavirus spreads. They say there have been cases where people were infected at distances greater than six feet apart through airborne particles. Denver 7's Nicole Brady is live this morning, and Nicole, this raises concerns because once the weather turns colder and we're inside more, we could catch those airborne particles. Yeah, Brian, we're talking about tiny, tiny viral particles, so small gravity doesn't affect them. So they can linger in the air for hours. They circulate in that air, they accumulate, and they raise your risk of infection if you are in an indoor environment. So indoor restaurants, for example, a holiday shopping, we are all going to be spending more time inside soon. And even in our own homes, viral aerosols pose a danger, especially as people gather for holidays with extended family outside their own household. Uh, so the best advice from an aerosol expert I spoke to is still maintain distance. Some distance is better than none. Wear a mask, open some windows, and try to go outside when you can. The further away you are, the less probability it will find you. So it's kind of makes sense. And so distance is good. Uh, speed is important, right? The, the less time you are in an kind of vulnerable circumstance, the less likely you are to be infected. So that's sort of obvious. And another tip from a University of Denver aerosol expert, buy a portable air filter. That can help mitigate uh, aerosol and viral aerosol. It can also help with the wildfire smoke that we've been experiencing lately. We're live this morning, Nicole Brady, Denver 7. And we know those air filters have been flying off the shelves. Thanks, Nicole. This